From this to this. Here are some quick tips for changing packaging on the fly. Let's go. First, we're going to open a duplicate document of our standard packaging. Now, I want to change the product image without disrupting the design. So to do this, I'm going to go into the picture links palette, select the image you want to change, then click relink image. From here, I'm just going to select my new image and rinse and repeat for all of the images. As well as changing the names of the chocolates, I want to change the color of the box. To do this, I'm going to go over to the colors tab and create this perfect emerald green. And by ticking this little box here, I can now add this to my swatches. I'm also going to change the color of the font and logo to make them a bit more legible. Next up, use the shape tool to draw a circle for our special edition stamp. Then go to the gradient tab and play around with some golden tones. Then I'm going to bring in a vector graphic of a lucky four leaf clover and set the layer to multiply. Now using the pen tool, I'm going to create a curved line to write along. Once you're happy with the text and placement, you can hide the line. I'm also going to finish up by reusing the gradient we made on our logo to give it that premium feel. And there it is. Just by using these simple techniques, you can go 